<laughs> Look at this. My dog is asking for a treat. He deserves it. So I better create a Trello card to remember to buy it. Many of my clients use and love the Trello app for Slack. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you how to install it, set it up and use it. Of course, the first step is installing the Trello app on Slack. Click on Add Apps, search for Trello, click Add, and follow the steps to connect both accounts. With that done, we now have to connect this channel to a board on Trello. If you type slash Trello and then enter, you see a list of all the comments you can use here. And the first one we want to use is slash Trello space link. This will connect a board to this channel. So let's go to the board and copy the board link. Now let's go back to the channel. The board and the channel are linked, but there is another step. Let's go back to the board and look for the Slack power up. Now clicking here, we'll have access to the workspace, the Slack workspace. In my case, it's flagcampus.com. And inside this other window, I can choose a channel. I'm going to choose this one here. I'll talk about all those options in a moment. For now, let's go back to the channel. But before that, if this video has been helpful so far, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps a lot. Okay, let's go back to the channel, the Slack channel. Oh, look, my dog sent me a message. Let's try this, slash Trello. Create. These are all the options on a Trello card when we click it, and it is inside Slack. I'm going to just set a date here today, and that's it. So let's create this. Close. And let's take a look at the board. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's go back. Now let's say I'm here working and I need to find that card. Let's use the slash Trello search. I know that there is the word dog there and dog. Pay attention here. This is a search I'm performing inside the channel, but it is only visible to me. I'm not sure if this is a card that I want to share with everyone else. I, I'm just looking for information. I'm looking for the cards, uh, for, for a card inside my Trello board. So now let's say this is a card that I want to share. I can click here and show it on the channel. Every time you search for something on a linked board, this is going to happen. So don't be afraid to search. All the results will show up here, but you are the only one seeing them until you click the publish button. There are many other slash commands that you can use. They are all explained here. So I encourage you to try them. But let's go back to the board because I have to show you how to set alerts. Let's go to the power up. So here we can choose that same channel and select the alerts that we want to, the notifications we want to get on that channel. There are already some selected here, for example, comments, created, due date change. Let's also add description update and done. Okay, and now let's change this description. Did you get the noise, the Slack alert? We can see here that the description of that card was updated 
the description is here and I can even click here to see that card. This is really powerful, but it can be too much. Imagine for a moment you selected all or most of the options here. People on that Slack channel will start getting notifications every time anything changes on the board. Trust me, you don't want to do that. It's going to be super annoying and people will stop paying attention to the notifications in no time. So choose very wisely. And talking about choosing wisely, maybe choose this other video to watch next. It's a similar video to this one. It's about the Evernote app for Slack. And if this video was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.